So here's a little bit of a hypothesis that I'm starting to work with. For those of you who are interested in magic, and by magic I mean like actual you know, conjuring of the elements, um, and creation of fire and water and control of the elements, because the way that I see it is that magic is the creation and the control of all things. And all things is the elements, you know, the earth, physical solid things, water, liquid things, uh, air, gaseous things, fire, relating to light and to, to um, heat and to um, you know, flames. And of course the qualities of these things, so cold is the quality of water or earth or dryness, there's no earth, etc. and moistness, etc. These are qualities, you'd have to learn to control qualities. And then of course um, electromagnetism. So, to actually get onto the point, firstly we have to understand the idea, uh, there is the idea of the sorcerer and the wizard, and the wizard is like the scientist, and the sorcerer is like the artist, and the sorcerer's power is usually they're like given it via a contract. This is kind of like, I don't know, I think it's in Dungeons and Dragons as like the law. I swear we're speaking about reality, but you know, I'm pretty sure this is, I don't know, they, maybe they got it from something else. Anyway, whatever. The sorcerer pretty much goes, goes whoosh, and then lightning comes out of their fingers, right? So they just kind of feel it. They just kind of go with the flow of reality um, and they get given their power to do magic uh, through contracts, through like spirits and, and other things, right? So then they're not really thinking about how to do it. They just kind of go whoosh and rainbows come out of them. Now the wizard, which is where we get to the point of the video, is, as I said, like a scientist. The wizard understands how water works, how moisture works, how cold works. They understand how fire works, how heat works. I had the hypothesis that to create fire, all you would need to do is to compress air so much that it combusts. Because of course we have oxygen, which is the which is the the element that fuels a fire. Can you have the pure oxygen fire? I'm pretty sure you can. When you compress air, because again. Fire requires a gas. I remember reading in Initiation Hermetics, um, I'm pretty sure uh, Franz Barden said, to create fire, you need air, or you need to use the air element to create fire. And I thought about that for a while, and then I understood, hey, whenever there's a fire, there is a, a gas, right? When you turn the stove on, it's a gas, and then fire, right? When it's a wood, when it's wood, it's burning the um, vaporous, you know, it's basically the vaporous smoke, the vaporous oil, etc. It needs an air. So then I thought, you know, to create a pure fire, you would just compress air because when you compress air, it heats up tons, and then you could probably use like a spark, right? So you compress air and you spark, and then I imagine that oxygen would then go. Poof. So. Is one path to magic understanding of how the elements actually work, how the physics of things work? And then all you need to do at that point is simply to apply your knowledge to control it. And how would you do this? Through somehow through feeling, through feeling, through, you know, what is our interface to control reality? Our mind is one of them, so our mind and our nervous systems, you know, electromagnetically, can we control things? If you, okay, so let's have another example. So basically the idea that I want to get, the main idea is that one path to magic, the path of a wizard would be to understand how things actually work and then simply to do it. Personal, to influence nature, to control nature, you follow nature. It's just like an alchemist uh, is just replicating the process of nature, like how, you know, stones or metals or ores and all kinds of things are created or how life forms are created. They're, they're simply just emulating nature. So the whole point of the video is basically, if you've learned how to emulate nature the same way that, you know, how does wind work? How, how do the tides work? You know, even if things are physical, ultimately things will, would come from energy or pressures or, you know, matter we assume comes from energy, right? And then it's a cycle. So take a light bulb. A light bulb lights things up because its filament is getting hot. 
its filament is getting hot because of electricity. What is electricity? I don't actually really know. It's kind of like pressure. That's the best way I can put it. It's like if you feel it, it's like this weird tingly pressure on your nerves. So then if you looked at the filament and you simply used, technically you would be using fire magic, which is the quality of heating something up. I don't know if you've experimented just you know, with feeling and stuff, but you can create hot air, you can create cold air. It's not really a hard thing to do. You just kind of focus on the feeling of heat and cold. If you then focused on the light bulb's filament and you heated it up so much through maybe, maybe through pressure, because again, <clears throat> the idea that I have is that it's got to rely somehow on something really basic. It's like ones and zeros creates the world of a computer. The ones and zeros of, of maybe magic would be like tension and relaxation, you know, pressure and an absence of pressure, focus and an absence of focus, simple things. So somehow simply you might be able to focus on a light bulb's filament and then pressurize it somehow or, or use some kind of tension because again anything related to fire positive energy is going to be tension anything related to you know, negative energy like water and earth is going to be more relaxation right to get you into those lower areas and then of course you could actually just use you know, if you could control electricity you could project electricity um, you just touch it because I know like I'm pretty sure it was John Chang who who lit up like a light bulb or so there's some other if you look up like Qigong people lighting up light bulbs just by touching it they're doing it so they're they're I think projecting electricity like that's how it physically it's kind of working is that they're they're using electromagnetism they're projecting it basically to the thing but again another avenue is that you could just heat the filament up Right, so these are different avenues because that's kind of the idea is that I'm thinking you kind of have to at least, you know, again, the path of the wizard basically, unless you have, you know, you can just kind of throw out, I don't know, some, some lightning bolts or something as, as a sorceress can. But the path of the wizard at least is that you have to understand how things work and somehow, you know, through your feeling, through your mind, you, somehow you create this pressure and you're able to control the elements sympathetically through feeling it out or through focusing on something, right? And you're still going to need to, to use like, you know, reality to make stuff happen. It's, it's, as I said, it's the sorcerer just kind of wills things to happen. He just kind of, you know, really strongly wants it to happen and it happens because of the contract with with the spirit of the earth or the spirit of, of um, a fire. And what really is that? I'm not sure. It could be like a like a spiritual master or, or being that is somehow they understand how it all works. And they're like, like, a, like a demon spirit or something. And people like call them up from uh, grimoires. I'm not sure. But then the wizard understands the physics of how things work. And again, if you understand you know, what is physical or what are physical objects you know the idea of compression density and weight um what is movement of objects you know, do you have to move the air like push the air um create a force within the air or or is there a way just to focus on the object and just to push move it i think as you get better it's it's a bit like how when you do something, when you're new at it, you think about things a lot and then you just kind of do it in an instinct and it just kind of works, right? But when you're new at something, you have to be thinking about it. You have to like, you know, figure out how things work. So really, again, to summarize, the main point of the video is that potentially one part of the magic is to actually understand how things work and then to, you know, mentally or, or through feeling or something apply some kind of force and you also have to understand how your application of force which is why you could do a lot of experiments on pushing pulling trying to create temperatures and pressures and all that stuff the feeling you know, how you can use that to then make things happen that you want to make happen right anyway something to practice something to work on um if i can get this if I can get this going, I'll make some videos on it. Otherwise, 
Have a good day and feel free to check the links in the description of social commercial stuff and goodbye.